This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them, those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? The seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends. Jasper, who will serve you always. And Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead, and one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. I don't know. Try casting a spell. That's supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? E even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight. Bats! Take cover! Well, young hero. This is your chance to show us what you've got.
don't stand a chance. Did you see it? Indeed. Your father would have been proud. Well, I know I am. Come on. And I'm proud of you too, old friend. I've never seen a man cower with such grace. It is merely a matter of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero. Who can lead this land in a revolution? That's are just beginning. More bats! Get ready to cut some magic. What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination, and you should be taken there. Just like that. It worked! Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep, it may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. Where did you come from? This is what Logan has really reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I traded my door for some food. I knew She's they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. Oh, 
The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a prince. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. You don't look like bright wall folk. Maybe you're more giving. We don't need much. Just enough to survive. Can't hunt, thanks to the king. What are we going to do? Still open, everybody? Are you here to buy something? Really? I'll feed my family. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is is this is this how you use the uh, I am speaking to you through the guild. Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well, <laughs> I told you he takes some convincing. Come on. Ooh. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into a home. A prince, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy. Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. He'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Thank you. 
Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful. I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would turn them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. way to gather a few followers is by simply interacting with people. Try it. I'm sure you'll make an impression. How about getting a job? Earn some money the honest way. I need gold so that I can eat. Wait a minute. You look just like a dweller. Oh, it's because you're wearing dweller clothes. That's it. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. 
Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <clears throat> Sweet Papyrus! A real visitor! I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. By the holy walkmark, the Guild Seal. I haven't seen it since the old hero King last came here. Oh, then you are... The Prince, yes. Oh, my. Uh, please, come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how he would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a slip switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can. This sanctuary contains an armory within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. Either weapon is fine, all down to personal preference. Apparently, as you use it, the blade actually becomes longer and sharper. Imagine! According to the book, the hammer can grow larger and heavier with use. Incredible! That hammer should serve you well for as long as you carry it, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you are properly armed, you should be much better prepared for whatever awaits you beneath Brightwall Academy.
yes, the flit switch. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve that purpose ably.
Ah, hello. Yes, you'll recall that I mentioned that flit switches require a knock from a melee weapon. Well, it seems that, that was only partially correct. According to the book, only blue switches require melee weapons. The red variety requires magic, and to activate yellow switches, you must shoot them with a firearm. Fortunately, that section of the book also indicated where some firearms were located, and these weapons, well, they must be seen to be believed. Please return to the sanctuary as soon as you can. So the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them, becoming ever more fearsome. They can cause more damage and achieve other incredible effects. The rifle is the perfect instrument for engaging enemies at long range. The rifle is the perfect instrument for engaging enemies at long range. The rifle. Marvelous. No one's going to get close to you if you don't want them to. The uh, pistol will remain here should you wish to use it instead. In the meantime, experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked. You might have a look in the sanctuary shop. I'm quite certain there is something new in there. 